If you ask an angler what fish can be caught in Nebraska, you would almost surely hear of walleye, bass, crappie, and catfish. One species not likely to come up, trout. That's because trout thrive in cool habitats with clear, flowing waters, natural river obstacles, and scours in the stream bed where they can feed and rest. A habitat that, when compared to Nebraska's rivers and tributaries, is almost exactly the opposite. And yet, at Pine Glen State Wildlife Management Area, near the small town of Long Pine, Nebraska, as well as other areas across the state, trout populations thrive. Brook, brown, rainbow, and cutthroat can all be caught in Nebraska. There's even an annual statewide trout slam where impassioned anglers compete for bragging rights to catch all four species of trout all within a calendar year. All of which begs the question, how? This is a cold water stream, and it's the key to understanding how trout can survive in Nebraska. These often overlooked natural resources make up 28% of all stream miles throughout the state. They tend to be narrow, quick flowing, clear, and as the name would suggest, cold. In fact, they run at pretty much the same temperature year round, which is a requirement to be considered a true cold water stream. In Nebraska specifically, this classification is given to streams when the maximum daily water temperatures do not exceed 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The cool waters of the streams are largely due to their source, groundwater. To refresh your fifth grade science knowledge, let's take a step back. Groundwater is the water that permeates the Earth's surface and collects in pockets underground. The Earth's soil then serves as a sort of insulating blanket for the water below, keeping it at a consistent temperature until it's ready to be released. This insulating blanket is the reason why cold water streams are cool. It's also the reason why cold water streams tend to flow through the winter without freezing over. In addition to temperature, cold water streams also owe their clarity and quality to being groundwater fed. This is an important feature of the streams as they often serve to increase the downstream water quality of other tributaries. It's these unique conditions of the cold water streams, temperature, water quality, and flow rate that make it possible for trout as well as other cold water fish species to live in Nebraska. But for them to thrive, the streams need to be more than just cold and clear. They need to be managed. And this is where many streams can run into a problem. Nebraska's cold water streams were once pristine, meandering channels. Over time though, many have been altered, manipulated, and degraded to a point where they can no longer support the native species that depend on them. While some have remained intact, commercial and agricultural reliance on the streams, the rise of urbanization, and climate change all pose a direct threat to these important natural habitats. While at first it may seem like a bleak future for the cold water stream, there is a silver lining. Many of them can be restored. Here's how it works. In the case of Pine Glen Wildlife Management Area, biologists and engineers began by evaluating the stream's physical and biological conditions, setting an understanding for the areas most in need of rehabilitation. The project team then shifted its attention toward the trees lining the stream, clearing space for new vegetation along the stream banks and making the location much more accessible for anglers. To improve the flow of the stream, engineers then designed and constructed a series of enhancement structures using boulders and other natural elements. Once installed, these structures manipulate the stream's flow so that it produces new scours in the stream bed. These will ultimately serve as the new ponding areas the trout need to feed and rest. What we implement at the upstream end changes how the stream flows going downstream from there, and so the next structure has to accommodate the changes made with the next structure upstream of it. So in total, we implemented about 19 structures overall, and every one of them had to complement and work in conjunction with the ones upstream and downstream of it in, in this system of aquatic habitat improvements. As an added benefit, these same structures help to mitigate stream bank erosion for the project area, ensuring that Pine Glen stays beautiful for years to come. These restoration efforts help to increase the stream's overall trout population capacity and make it easier for fishermen to get out and enjoy Pine Glen year-round. And while this project is now complete, the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission is taking additional steps to make sure it's not the only effort of its kind. This includes the introduction of the state's first cold water stream management plan in 2016. Our job is to look at our cool water streams, which includes both cold water A and cold water B streams, 
try to keep them in good shape and try to make sure that we can improve them. And if there's any of these streams that have impairments that we can go in and try to repair, we're we'll going to do that. But also if we can go in and protect them for the you know, benefit of citizens for a long time, we're going to do that as well. They've also created the state's first stream team, filled with wildlife and water resource experts that are dedicated to continuing improving cold water habitat. And as Nebraska continues to restore cold water streams, fishermen can rest assured that there will be plenty of healthy trout and beautiful streams for years to come.